When I first started my YouTube channel, I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. From the outside looking in, YouTube kind of sounds like the easiest job in the world. You just gotta play video games and upload videos. That's easy enough. But honestly, there's so much going on behind the scenes that I don't even think that one video can do it justice. Still, when I first started my channel, I didn't know exactly how hard it was going to be, so my ignorance was actually bliss. I can honestly say that my first month on YouTube was some of the happiest times in my life. I mean, sure, I was making $700 a month and living with my mom in a two-bedroom apartment, but still, being able to wake up and create the content I wanted to was enough to keep me grinning from ear to ear. But obviously, as things go in most competitive professions, the pressure to be better and better started to take effect. I mean, sure, I was happy with getting 1,000 views on a Let's Play, but why couldn't I get 5,000 views? And what was stopping me from getting 10,000 views? And in this way, as with a lot of other professions in life, this creates a real problem. We start to move the goalposts further and further. We look for answers in our defeats, but we compare our successes to even bigger successes that we see, and therefore our victories start to feel like defeats as well. And that fear to be better and better can eventually create anxiety. The funny thing about anxiety is that it's not really one size fits all. It's not always, oh, my heart rate is a little bit faster. Oh, Oh, my brain is being mean. It materializes itself in ways that are different for everyone. To some people, it comes out as depression. To other people, it comes out in a tick, like ripping their eyelashes out one by one. And to me specifically, it was insomnia. For months, it was actually pretty hard for me to sleep because the second I started dozing off, my heart rate would spike and my brain would remind me that I can do better. And unfortunately, as hard as it is to admit, that anxiety ended up winning. My need to create things that I wanted to create in this passion of my life was overtaken by my need to create things that would be successful. And as I'm sure a lot of you may have felt in your lives, I started to lose the love for my passion. It's such a unique kind of emptiness that goes with going through the motions of something you used to love. But honestly, for an entire year, that was my life. Editing videos I didn't want to do, releasing content I wasn't really proud of, and of course, no longer doing the things that would make me happy. Until finally, in September of 2019, I pulled my head out of my anus, and I decided that I was going to start uploading frequently again. My plan was simple, I was going to upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And because I had this new deadline placed on myself, I started doing the things I wanted to do again. I finally got to do what I wanted to. I talked about Super Mario and Nintendo. We did Let's Plays. We got to do skits, etc. And honestly, after an entire year of doing that, even though it was very freaking hard, I can say that my love for this passion has returned. Every morning, I started to feel as excited as I did when I first started. But still, as we all know, I thought we could do better. So without thinking about the consequences, without realizing the amount of work, and honestly without thinking it through too much, we decided to do Daily December, a month in which I would release a new video every single day for 31 days. I didn't know what I was gonna do, and honestly, I was so afraid that it was gonna do bad, or I was gonna bleed viewership, or that it just wasn't gonna succeed. In fact, the only thing I was certain of is that this was what I wanted to do. And so, I did it. For 31 days, we released a video every single day. Day. We did Let's Plays, we reacted to Reddits, we did a streamathon where we averaged 1,000 viewers the entire time, which is crazy, and we did a lot more. And honestly, for the first time in a very long time, I didn't feel like a League of Legends content creator. I didn't feel like a series, I didn't feel constricted. I felt like Scooch. I felt exactly how I did when I first started this journey all those years ago. And even though it's the hardest thing I've ever done, I don't wanna stop. So without further ado, I wanted to tell you that we're not stopping, that I'm happy to be where I am, and I'm happy to work hard, and I'm happy to be a daily uploader. I wanna to continue to push the envelope. I wanna to continue to release as much content as I can because that's genuinely what makes me happy. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to take a three-day break. And then, on January 3rd, we're going to continue.
And it's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> but we're going to have a good time. I'll see you then.